what, what have you learned from a game like this? Uh, I think uh, it's like the rhythm in the game wasn't really there. I think after the first, we, we played pretty good in the first, uh, came in with a lead in the second period. Then uh, it's a lot of penalty minutes. I mean, uh, um, we did a good job on the penalty kill, but uh, we gotta we gotta try to to just uh, learn from 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 the mistakes we made uh, that they scored uh, two two goals to tie the game. And uh, next time we just gotta focus on winning this game. Ali, uh, what have you thought? Just is I think the third game with mostly an NHL lineup. Like, what's missing? Um. Well, I think good thing is it doesn't count yet. But um, I think we gotta figure out how to how to close those games out. I think it just comes to I think the structure is not bad. Uh, but it's a compete. It's always always these games. Whoever competes more more wins. And um, and you can see it to throughout the league that. Uh, NHL lineups lose to lose to the HL lineups just because it competes. I think that our our big message at Bell has been to try to get that compete up even in these games. But um, but I think I think we had it first, second, I think third. It kind of we had the two nothing lead. It kind of kind of went away a little bit. But that's I think that's the story of the game. But we just gotta have it when the home opener comes. When you play a team like Ottawa, it's on your skin like that and it's constantly trying to chip out the whistle and things like that. Does that kind of put the need for toughness in perspective for you guys or are you not taking too much away from that? Well, um we gotta stick together. I think that's the thing and I think we did that today. Uh, that's I think that's the toughness you need. Uh, it, it's not necessarily fighting anymore but I, I think uh, that the team spirit. Uh, you don't back down and you support your support your teammates, your partner. Um, your line mates, I think that's the mindset we've had all, all three years at least I've been here and I I think we're gonna we're gonna keep doing that. Well in your experience, just kind of when it comes to what are the things that you can and can and shouldn't should take and shouldn't take from preseason? You kind of in your career what have you noticed when it comes to team stuff? Because a lot of it the lineups are some things are mixed up. Think like what are the things that are important to take out of preseason and what ones aren't? Because I think sometimes people are always looking for conclusions that may or may not be there. Yeah, well, I th I think big thing is playing with uh, uh, multiple guys. Uh, at least as a D man, that's the, I I don't think I've ever played a season that I've had the same partner for the whole season. So I think just kind of knowing tendencies of each other, um, and like I said, like during the season there might be you start with somebody, you might be with somebody else. Ten games, twenty games, forty games. You, you never know. So uh, I think that's a big thing. Structure. Getting back to uh, I think summer summers of time you get better at skills uh, and that stuff and when it comes to training camp and these games they're really important just to getting that getting used to the structure how to play play that hockey where to be when to be there the the place you have uh, the options you have um, so I think those those are big things and and the one thing too like I don't think we've been good enough is is to compete and uh, the the attitude we had um, I think it showed today for a second maybe. Yesterday, third. Uh, it's been there, but I, I think not throughout 60. And, and it's understandable, but um, I think it's something something you just can't turn on and off. And I think we have it in practice. Uh, I think we, we battle, we compete, and we, we work really hard, which is which is a good thing. Uh, and uh, I think I'm sure we're going to have it when the puck drops and the real game's there. Marco, how would you assess, just on a personal level, what you were able to accomplish uh, this exhibition season. Yeah, I think uh, like we've we've talked about like we we've worked really hard this uh, like in practices and we've had to compete in practice and that's that's a really important part for for us uh, as a team and uh, I mean uh, we've had some some good periods as well and that that helps us for sure helps me and 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 uh, us as a team I think so just just trying to get out there and uh, work really hard to do the best we can I think that's that's what I've tried to do I think that's what everybody has tried to do and now we just gotta got to get in, in into the game and and win some games I think when you get two quick goals like that yourself how much of a confidence boost is that for you yeah I mean obviously it's it's always fun to score um I mean it's it's just trying to to win the game and uh trying to help the team win and I think it's always it's always good to score for me for me but every for for everybody for a team just to get two quick goals <coughs> and now we got to work on like uh, keeping the lead and and not not losing games like that you 
Yeah, I mean, uh, would have been would have been fun to to score a hat trick there, but uh, I guess you can't score score on every opportunity. But uh, I mean, good, good good. It's good that we get the opportunities in the PK as well. I'm just, I mean, it's. Uh, First, first of all, we gotta try to not keep the puck out of the net in, in PK. But also, like when we have to get the chance, we got really good skaters on our team and uh, try to go for chances as well. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you'd like to manage the game a little better in the end. I thought the the poor penalty kill probably uh, got them back in it. Um, maybe a little urgency, but I I liked our game. We're gonna pick some parts about it that you don't like, you do like. Um, it's part of the, I'm not going to go as far as frustration of the preseason, but uh, the reality of the preseason. So, um, one more. Uh, keep working through it. It's easy for people to kind of try to instantly grab something bigger from preseason. As a coach, what should and shouldn't we take from preseason? Because I think sometimes it's a natural spot for overreaction. From of course there is, yeah. yeah. It's like yeah. our win in Pittsburgh. Yeah. You know, I, obviously you take what you do from it. So more energy tonight. I liked our first couple periods. Um, even the third wasn't bad. Um, power play, unable to finish, was probably a big part of the game. Um, and then obviously we took, I mean, 15 minutes of power. I mean, we almost spent a whole period in the box, and they finally got one late. So probably more in the game management, but there were some positives from today. Two quick to goals see. from Marco, but just what have you thought of him overall? Been excellent. Uh, energy, some finish there. Um, he's had a really good camp. Obviously, he won't be playing tomorrow. Uh, we're not going to put him in a three and three situation, but really good camp. I, all of our young guys gave us some energy tonight. Um, it's been a really good camp for a lot of those guys. Derek, where, where has he progressed the most? You think, in I think just the confidence, managing his game, puck play. You guys saw last year, he was so, he looked like a deer in a headlight. He was turning pucks all over the place, um, you know, opening himself up for hits. Like, it's, it's it's a credit for him how much he's developed in the year. Probably a credit to the guys in Grand Rapids. Um, he had a really good camp, and uh, he's an exciting player uh, for us. How much is it? Strength and weight yes. I think a huge part of it. So probably part of that confidence too. Um, but I, I just I love his, uh, his his play with the puck. It's improved so much. And so there's some confidence there. Um, so really really good. Use him in every situation. Obviously, um, it wasn't on the power play day, but trust him on the penalty kill. Trust him in some faceoffs. Um, good game and a really good camp for him. Fair to say you guys need to help Alex line out a little bit more. Or? Yeah, I mean, you're going to look back and it's not going to be a ton. You know, we'll probably grade this out. Uh, a light volume night for him. I just would like us to manage our um, game at the end. Probably the the last three goals were all just very um, lack of urgency in our defensive game. Uh, penalty kill, and then even the overtime, even a missed coverage there. What did you make of Austin Watson? I know that kind of toughness is what he's supposed to bring to a team, but it does leave you with a seven-minute penalty kill as well. How do you yeah, no, that? I like that. I, I think it energizes our guys, obviously. Um, Moe's a very important player for us. We don't want him to get in any of those type of situations. Uh, I actually I liked it a lot. Do you like it overall that you know this is a team you've had a lot of uh, physical battles with in the last couple of years and it seemed like your guys were really ready to push back tonight. Yeah, I think so. Any nonsense. It's amazing. Just one guy with that mentality just helps the group out a ton. Um, so it's good. And uh, again, up to that point, Austin was good in his game. You know, he kills for us. Uh, he had a beautiful grade eight chance on the back door there, five on five. And he's done some good things uh, with his play also. Will he play tomorrow? Yes, he'll play tomorrow. How does that lineup look for tomorrow? Oh, not bad. We'll we'll have a uh, probably look similar to their lineup here. We'll have a handful of NHL guys with with some young guys. Who's your goalie tomorrow? Are you? Uh, Huso Billy will play. We'll give him sixty minutes again tomorrow. Only Mata was saying like, the last couple of games he's felt like the compete has ebbed and flowed. Ebbs and that's a good way to put it. Yeah. Uh, he said, "Is that how much of that do you chalk up to preseason? How much of it concerns you?" 
That's a good question. I, a little of it's probably preseason. A little of it is the unfortunate reality sometimes of veteran type players getting what they need out of exhibition. I don't love it. Um, you push back against it as a coach because I don't think you could just turn it on when the games start here uh, on Thursday. Um, and we've had a, a hard camp. So I think there's probably, we've asked a lot of these guys, you guys have seen the practices. You know, we, we have this kind of theme a little bit more. So there's probably all a, a little bit of everything in there. Um, so it would be a goal of ours to have a little more high in our compete. Um, tonight was probably a little ebb and flow. I would, I think he'd probably give us too much credit. I didn't think our compete was very good at all last night. But tonight we had a little more um, pop to it.